Good evening everyone and welcome to Full On Football, the show that promotes local South Australian football. Well tonight is a very special night, it is our 100th episode. But unfortunately it's a little bit bittersweet because it also could be our very final episode. Now sitting at home trying to format the show, I was wondering how am I going to go about this show? But I thought, well, we're going to go out with a big bang and the guests tonight are going to be reflective of that. Um, first of all, our first guest, well, he is the number one authority and critic of football here in, in Australia. He stands as one of the greatest team builders in Australia. He first brought psychology into the game of football and he has been honoured in the Sport Australian Hall of Fame in 1989 for his services to sport and he's the only football coach to have done so uh, in the history of Australia so uh, it is a great honour to do that. No other coach in Australia has achieved a higher World Cup ranking than this person in 1974 when Australia achieved a rating of 13th um, and Goose Hitting of course achieved 16th rating in uh, 2006. It is my extreme pleasure to introduce former, and he doesn't like that word, former Australian football coach, Rally Rasic, OAM. Welcome to Full On Football Rally. Thank you, great pleasure. It is a fantastic pleasure for me to have you on and I just still cannot believe that I've got you here sitting next to me. <laughs> That's a great feeling, isn't it? It is a great <laughs> feeling and I hope we're gonna have a lot of, uh, we're gonna have a lot of questions directed towards you. Also uh, joining us on the show is uh, two gentlemen that have been a great supporters of Full On Football over the four years. And that is, of course, uh, one of our finest referees that we've ever produced here in South Australia. And that is, of course, Donald Campbell. Oh, I am. Welcome back, Donald. Thank you, Nat. Welcome. And who was that chap you said earlier? <laughs> oh, it's just a little friend of mine. <laughs> just arrived in the country, has not he? <laughs> no, no, no. Newcomer. No, thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure. And also, my third guest, third and final guest, is someone who's a, a little bit younger than the other two gentlemen. But he has... Uh, he has taken Seaford Rangers Football Club from the doldrums and uh, had a lot of success in achieving uh, some great milestones within that club and that is of course Ben Dale, senior coach of Seaford. Welcome back to Full On Football. Thanks for having me and there's no OAM on the end of my name. No, so. neither no. I, so <laughs> we're, we're the bookends <laughs> yeah, here exactly. tonight. Now Rally, first of all, my first question directed to you is, um, of course Australia again qualifying for the World Cup, um, how do you see that? I didn't see. You didn't <laughs> see. How, what's your opinion on that, though? Look, um, Pim was appointed to qualify for the World Cup. He did it with, uh, uh, with very, uh, you know, here and there. You could assess the results, performance, but results were went all the way his way, and um, he kept low key because he understood one thing that he could not keep media uh, on their toes as well as he his uh, predecessor, uh, Hoos Hilding, mm -hmm. uh, Hoos was a uh, media man, was a master coach, a big authority, each interview probably worth half a million dollars and He's so on. He's got charisma, and hasn't he? Yes, incredible. Uh, uh, last night, uh, Tim Cahill explained that uh, the difference between two men, and he really explained in an absolutely professional manner. Hoos, he asked Hoos in a lift, what he is playing, what, what position, well, he didn't play next day. So uh, he said, who's made sure that he's bigger than any, any person under him? Mm -hmm. Pim, even Steven. Uh, but uh, Pim is low key. He had to be low key compared to who's. And um, uh, he, he achieved success. You can't criticize success. O objective was to qualify for a World Cup. Uh, what I think personally that we made mistake, basic error in judgment when he said that the players from A League are not good enough, mm. then he plays them against Kuwait. If they are not good enough, why do you play them? Mm. Uh, uh, the media, Sydney, especially Sydney, Sydney media, tore him absolutely in pieces, and uh, some of them were asking for his even resignation. Mm. Uh, I don't think so that, that that should be the case. He has done quite good job. And bear in mind this, that certain players arrived day of the match yeah. in, a, in China or wherever the team mm -hmm. was. So you can't criticize success. Uh, uh, what is the biggest question of them all is that who has raised the bar? 
now he has to beat that 16 above. Mm. And that's a huge expectation. And Tim Cahill last night expressed that's their desire, and he thinks that the team can do it. If they can, it would be fantastic for, uh, for our football. Yeah. Now, now, Tim Cowell's had a lot of controversy just recently with the media, not a very good relationship with the media, but you tout him as one of the finest uh, players in Australia, or ever, ever to play for Australia. Not one of the finest, definitely the greatest player that we ever, ever produced. Uh, what I mean by greatest, greatest is one who gives on the field day in, day out, week in, week out. He is always available for selection. He always has done absolute, unbelievable, unexpected, uh, mm -hmm. something unpredictable. And he is playing, don't bear in mind, that he makes Everton what it is. He is the difference between Everton being fifth or being tenth. Mm. Uh, that is incredible uh, privilege for a young man to be. Uh, uh, secondly, you can never ever follow. Uh, how could you predict second goal against Japan? Mm -hmm. You can't find in a book. You can't. Coaches can't teach that. Mm -hmm. And he is exceptional. What I like about him that he is a low key, uh, very proud of that green and gold jersey, and uh, always wants to play. And uh, 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 in relation to this case. Rugby league had that many problems mm. and has that many problems. There are daily problems. When the coach uh, Fittler comes in a, in, a, uh, in a hotel room half naked and knocks on the door uh, of someone, that is a very serious issue. Mm. And uh, so rugby league had to follow with something, right? And uh, that wasn't bad. <laughs> that wasn't the deck by Fittler, definitely. So, uh, in conclusion, uh, they qualified. Tim is a great player, and we have great future in football. Mm. Now, going back to when you, uh, obviously, when Australia qualified in 1974. It was a long there, time there, ago. There would have been no <laughs> antics like that in the, in the hotel rooms, would there? Uh, look, you, you, uh, of course, you were part-time. They, they were part-time players. Very, very different to today's players. Part-time or not part-time, Donald will tell you that too. Uh, Part-time or no time, there is no, uh, no excuse for lack of discipline and order. Uh, if you accept to, to, to wear green and gold jersey, that should be privileged for every person who is part-time or full-time or no time. Right? Uh, uh, I was very young, very ambitious. I just came from Europe, age 34, become soccer coach. I set everything absolutely to perfection for them and I paved the way for them that the headquarters is absolutely immaculate, that the steaks are cooked the way that I want, that food is cooked and prepared the way that I want, and the management of the hotel kept being puzzled day in, day out. It was this, this man is an idiot. I mean, at times I thought so too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, then, then introduction of psychology caused few, because one journalist, great friend of mine, Brian Mosso, mm -hmm. De, uh, described it as psychiatry, so I rang uh, um, uh, editor of the uh, of the Sydney Morning Herald, and I said, "Look, uh, uh, would you have Oxford Dictionary there? Can you uh, please explain, Mr. Most of the difference between psychiatry and psychology?" I said, "I think that I have 22 very healthy men, not ill. So you know, uh, they, they are the things that." Uh, uh, so we introduced discipline, we introduced order, we introduced psychology, we introduced pride and honor in New Jersey. And uh, they, they just, they, Donald knows all these people, they were immaculate, they were ambassadors, greatest ambassadors I ever worked with, and that was the key for success. Uh, uh, not, uh, it, it's not good enough to be a coach. You need people under you. Mm -hmm. You need the staff, you need everybody. You cannot be champion by being champion yourself or wanting to be champion yourself. You need a team of champions to, to assist you all the way uh, uh, to achieve the goals. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think these, uh, these uh, people that uh, we know personally on so many occasions, uh, um, they, they were greatest ambassadors I ever, I ever met and ever worked with, mm -hmm. and the uh, most committed human beings that, um, that I ever met. Well, like you too, but Donald, you would have great memories.